everybody. I have the privilege of uh, starting this meeting. It is uh, it's going to be an amazing uh, tour of many, many, many new electives. I think you're going to be uh, blown away like I am at the uh, amazing teachers that we have and the opportunity that we have to, to uh, think about all these new electives that we're going to be teaching. We, uh, we have a lot, uh, over 70 that I'm going to be presenting today. Uh, well, thank you so much, Dr. Shogal, and thank you so much for everybody uh, for, being your, for, for being patient. And uh, I'm just so excited to see all of us here. Uh, it gives me tremendous sort of uplift, uh, uplifted spirit uh, seeing all of us here together. Hey, um, very exciting to, uh, to be able to uh, kick us off for next year. And as you can see, we, we are resilient and we are brave and we just keep going forward uh, no matter what happens uh, to, to us and around us. Um, as you can see, this is uh, going to be going into our third year. Uh, last year, we really expanded our, our elective curriculum and strengthened what we have uh, already uh, offered and really offer a lot more choices this year. We're going to organize them in an even uh, more cohesive manner. And, and as you can see, the upcoming senior class, uh, you guys are rolling, you know, your, your, your grandfather into the, the credit requirement, but the rest will, will be beginning at two, uh, for 260 credits. Uh, minimum courses to carry, you know, at the bottom right there, uh, the information is made available to you. Uh, let's go to the next slide. As you can see, we want to structure our entire high school curriculum asking one single question. Of course, we ask that question in so many different ways. But that single question is, what does it mean to be fully human? Um, ninth grade is organized uh, central around the uh, theme of self, grade 10, society, uh, grade 11, calling, and grade 12, justice. Uh, there are a lot of uh, it's just majors or core courses, but uh, within the each grade level, there are certain requirements. This will be published later on, and so you will be able to study it more carefully. But all these elective courses are being put into a 100 series, 200 th series, 300 series, and 400 series. That corresponds to grade 9 theme, grade 10 theme, grade 11 theme, and grade 12 theme. And those courses don't really fit into any of those themes. Uh, will be called the, uh, the uh, 500 series. So after this, after today, after you were presented uh, all this information, uh, we, we hope that by tomorrow or Friday, you will get all the material that you need to begin to think about what you want to take. And then together, we're going to put, put you in touch with Mrs. Solomon to help you with thinking about what you need to take. But before that, you want to consult your advisor. Okay, your advisor, um, and then uh, you can begin to do that, and then we will give you more information on the detail of the process. Thank you, Dr. Shagel. Back to you. Really wanted to give you a feel for the vast array of courses that we will be offering, and um, a full description will be available soon. So, if you want to, just take out a piece of paper and jot down some of the courses that are most interesting to you. So with that, I'm going to go into the different courses. First one is uh, titled All the World's a Stage. It's a cracking the code of the greatest playwright in English, the English language, William Shakespeare. The next one is Rhetoric and Composition. If you know a uh, picture on the right, the painting on the right is of Plato and Aristotle. Notice Plato is pointing up, Aristotle is pointing down. And this is, in this class, you'll be exploring the classic modes of rhetoric and composition. Great prep for AP Lit and other courses. <coughs> Creative writing and short story and poetry. This will help you to learn about voice and point of view and plot and character and setting and many, many other things. If you want to learn how to write, um, especially short story and poetry, this is a great course for you. This is the 200 series. And just to be clear, the 200 series is not only available for the sophomores, it's available for anybody. The point is that it has a particular theme, namely the theme of, of society. 
So this is uh, science fiction as literature, studying some of the authors that I read in high school, uh, just for fun, Asimov, Isaac Asimov and Ray Bradbury and others. If you notice this picture, are you supposed to read from left to right or right to left? Best loved British authors. Can you name these different authors? Jane Austen, uh, Dickens, and C.S. Lewis, and of course, William Shakespeare. This is a, also an amazing course. Um, then Dante's Divine, uh, Divine Comedy. And this, this is a study of a book that's probably the best book written in the last 800 years, or at least one of the greatest pieces of writing ever. This is an amazing story, or not story, but uh, um, poem, really. And if you look at this image, you can get a, a few of the glimpses of what it looks like in Dante's Hell. English 300 series. There's six different choices. This first one is French comedies. Uh, and I'm not going to try to speak in an outrageous accent, but I'm guessing that when you take this class, you will learn a little bit about that as well as the comedies. Uh, existential novella. This is a study of Camus and Kafka and Salinger and others. Public speaking. Do you hear, do you know the fear of public speaking is greater than the fear of spiders and snakes? So this is a course for you to learn how to overcome that fear. God Ignites the Imagination, the fiction of C.S. Lewis, one of the greatest authors of all time and certainly of the 20th century. Crossing Borders. This is, uh, this is a Socratic seminar um, and is the basis for the Honors English Literature class and focuses on questions of American identity. And there's a prerequisite for this class um, you have to meet. Reading of Wendell Berry. If you want to get out your, your glass of, uh, of iced tea and sit on the porch and the rocking chair and, and break out this book, this is amazing. You can learn about tending to what we love and forgiveness and good food and care for the land and true community, and loneliness, death and loss and grief, and many other things. American Dream and Literature, Great Gatsby. Um, many other uh, works as well. Things that go bump in the night. This is uh, Monsters in Film and Fiction. Who doesn't want to watch Frankenstein and learn about vampires and Godzilla and boogeymen? Augustine's Confessions. This, in this course, you will uh, read this great book. It's one of the greatest works of all time and affected C.S. Lewis's writings profoundly. Thou hast made us for thyself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they find their rest in thee. Poems for the heart and mind. This is an introduction to the metaphysical poets, and uh, we'll dig deep into metaphysical poetry. The English 500 series, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. It's an AP course. Uh, math courses, um, including AP, Computer Science A, um, Quantitative, Qualitative Reasoning through Chess, Applied Statistics, Pre-Calculus, AP Calculus, A and B, A, B and B, C. And then we have Science, we have Biology and Chemistry. You get to discover all sorts of amazing things in Physics, in Human Biology, in Food Science. Look how much fun everybody's having. That is, that is a fun course. Forensic Science, you get to learn about uh, forensic and the forensics and there is a uh, second level forensic science as well with our very own Mr. Sweeney for a second. Uh, AP environmental science right here. Looks like Fitzgerald Marine Reserve. AP physics and into the humanities courses. Here's an introduction to philosophy where you can study all sorts of things including epistemology and truth and freedom and the relationship between the mind and the body. If you and your best friend traded brains, which body would be yours? Ask all sorts of questions like that and maybe come up with some answers too. Second, uh, 200 series electives for the humanities. There's California classics, explore the history of California through art and literature. Christian ethics, where we discuss all sorts of 
interesting ethical issues from a Christian vantage point, from a scriptural and biblical vantage point. AP human geography, human, humanities elective with a global focus. 300 series humanities courses on financial literacy, an immensely practical course. 400 series in economics. How can I best use my resources? Why is gas so cheap right now? I heard it was less than a dollar in one, in one state back east. Civil rights seminar. This is, uh, of course, a beautiful course. American criminal justice system. Plato's Republic, a deep study of one of the greatest works ever written in philosophy or anything else for that matter. Extremely relevant to today's society as well. American government, what powers does the president have in a time of crisis? Many other important issues. Fine art. Uh, this is the fine art department. We have uh, art foundations and advanced art and AP 2D art and design, as well as AP art history. There is, this is actually the third time this image is coming up. It's gonna come up later. It's the same one that we saw earlier. Ceramics, a full year. Design for publication. Graphic and digital design. Photography. Wow, did you see the rainbow this morning in Pacifica? It was a full double rainbow. That would have been a great, great thing to photograph. Uh, creativity and business enterprise. Build a business to sell your creative projects. Introduction to art therapy. Survey of Italian art history. Uh, other courses include drama and fashion design. And then the Christian Studies Department. So 200 series. This is not counting uh, required courses in the freshman and senior years. There's Hebrew poetry, studying the prophets of the Old Testament, which focus on worship and justice and community. Book of Revelation. Who wins in the end? Is it the rider on the white horse? Rider on the red horse, the black horse, holding the scales of famine, death behind him. God ignites the imagination, the fiction of C.S. Lewis. Oh, this one we already looked at. Again, we already looked at this. The reason it's, it's listed twice is because it's, it counts as credit for two different, uh, two different departments. Or you can choose between the two different departments to get credit for it. The Gospels course, um, this course will examine the uniqueness of the Gospels and the way they complement each other. St. Mark on the left. Dante's Divine Comedy, uh, we already saw that. Biblical Greek, you want to read that right in front of you? From, first, or from the book of John, oh, you will be able to read it by the end of your first year of Greek. Actually, first semester of Greek. Uh, 300 series, Christian studies, spiritual disciplines, church history from the Apostles to the Reformation. Students will be introduced to the church history beginning with the apostolic era and all the way up through the Reformation. It's a pretty long period of time. Uh, again, uh, this is Augustine's Confessions. This is a different rendition of the same course that we saw earlier. Um, as, as I said then, uh, to understand the mind of C.S. Lewis, you should read Augustine. Christian history, two, Reformation of the present. So if you take these two courses, then you have a full history from Biblical times to right now. Art and spiritual formation. And Pauline epistles. If you took Greek, you could read that on the top. St. Paul. Studying the writings of Paul. And then uh, world languages. We have French 1, 2, and 3. Spanish 1, 2, 3, 4. And AP Spanish. And also Latin and Greek. And the reason Latin and Greek and French don't have four is because we haven't had people who have, have advanced that far. They've only been offered this year and, and next year now. So when we have people that advance through that, we will continue to expand the offerings. So if you're worried about that, don't, because we'll have uh, Latin one, two, three, and four in Greek as, as well in French. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.